Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and also use singletons in JavaScript. Um, so for those of you who don't know, a singleton class is basically just a regular class. However, it is structured or designed in a way uh, where the developer using the class can only create a single instance of that class. So it means that uh, you can use a singleton when you only want a single instance of your class to be created. And in JavaScript, there are many different ways to achieve this. And this right here is going to be my example. Essentially, I just went online and researched a few different methods of doing this and then combined those methods into this one here. So an example use case of a singleton uh, would be something like a settings or an environmental variables accessor. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a singleton um, uh, in, uh, with an example being a settings accessor. Okay, so uh, let's go inside the text editor right here. I'm going to be using uh, HTML and just a, uh, just a web page for this example. But of course, this is also going to work on the server side if you're using Node.js. So uh, firstly here, let's go inside the HTML and uh, include a JavaScript file. So we can say script right here for source and we can say something like dot forward slash settings dot js so now we can go ahead and of course create that settings js file inside here so inside this settings js file this of course is going to contain the class uh, which is our settings accessor so we can say right here class uh, settings just like this okay and basically uh, for this example uh, this settings class is going to have a single method and that method is going to allow us to retrieve specific settings for the imaginary application. So uh, the settings are just going to be simple key value pairs. So with that being said, let's create a constructor for this class. So we can say constructor just like this, uh, just as usual. And uh, firstly here for the beginning of this uh, class, I'm just going to be doing uh, the standard initialization of this class. So essentially not worrying about anything singleton related, uh, sorry, related uh, just yet, but instead just focus on the functionality of this class. So firstly here, we can just say this dot uh, settings object is equal to a plain JavaScript object. So of course, this object right here is going to be a bunch of key value pairs for our imaginary application. For example, let's say background and make this red. And we can also make something like version and we can make the version a random number. For example, math.floor and we can say math.random and then times 4000. And that's going to be a random number up to 4000. So of course, this right here is just an example, uh, some example content for this class. So now we can create a simple method to actually get these values. So let's go down here and say get. This will take in a key. Okay. And basically we can just say return uh, this dot settings object at, um, at the key of key. Okay, so now basically if we say settings dot get background, it's going to return, of course, uh, this value right here. So now essentially we have the main functionality of this class. So now we're ready to turn it into a singleton. Although I might just go down here and actually just freeze this object right here because we don't want outside people to be editing the values inside this object. So we can say object dot freeze and pass in here this dot settings object. So now people can't just say settings dot background equals and then change uh, the actual background color. So now we have this class, uh, we can now turn it into a singleton. But first I wanna go back inside here and create a new script tag and make a new instance of this class. So we can say const right here, uh, let's call this uh, s equal to a new instance of settings um, just like this. So now of course if I was to console.log s.get and pass in here uh, background for example save this and refresh the browser in the console of course we get uh, the red hex color. So now let's turn this class into a singleton. 
So basically, the way it's going to work is, uh, you know, um, in many different languages uh, or uh, singleton implementations, you would create a method called get instance, and that get instance method would be used to, of course, get your singleton instance. In this case, uh, because of the nature of JavaScript, um, we're going to simply be using the constructor um, as our get instance method. So essentially, um, the way it's going to work is if you keep calling new settings each time, you're going to get the exact same settings instance. So to implement this, let's go down here um, just below this object.freeze. And essentially, we're going to say firstly here object.freeze once again, and this time pass in this. This means that people can't modify um, the instance in which we created. Okay, so that's doing things like adding properties or changing properties, things like that. We're also going to go down here and we're going to say settings.instance is equal to this. So by saying settings.instance, this is applying to the settings class. Okay, so this is applying to the settings class and not the instance in which you just created. So this right here is basically going to be global. And this right here is key to our singleton working. So now we've set this global, well, uh, semi-global uh, property called instance on the settings class to be um, the instance we are creating. We can then go up here in the constructor and we're gonna say, well, if this has already been created, so basically if all this code has already been ran, then we're simply gonna return this instance right here so the first created instance for the constructor. So we can say this, we can say if settings.instance is an instance of settings, okay, so obviously if it was undefined or null or one, etc., this won't be true, and this won't be true the first time the constructor um, for this runs or a new instance of settings is created this won't be true. So, if it is not the, sorry, if it's the second time or more that the constructor has been called, then this is obviously going to be true because of this down here. We can simply say return settings.instance uh, just like this. So now, that basically just completes our singleton, which means that if I was to go back inside here, we can leave this code the way it is, uh, save this and then refresh, Obviously, we still get the same value, and if I was to log out S, of course, we get here um, this settings instance. Okay, and also uh, make note of our random version number. So now, let's go back inside uh, the JS down here and make a new instance or a new instance uh, in quotation marks um, for the settings class. So we can say we, we can go down here and we can say const a is equal to new settings once again. Remember, this right here is using the previous settings instance which was created just down here because now, with this second call, this right here is true. So, back inside here, we have S and A which are both equal to the same and only settings instance. So now we can say console.log um, S and then console.log A. Okay, save this and then refresh, and we can see right here, of course, we get these two console logs. Expanding this gives us this right here. The version is the same. Okay, so obviously there's a one in 4,000 chance these would be the same. So in this case right here, we can see that these two instances are the exact same value. They're both the same instance. So uh, we can further prove this by saying, uh, S equals 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 and then A. Right here we see S is indeed equal to A because of course they're the same value. Let's go back inside the JS uh, one last time and just revert the uh, the singleton uh, changes just like this. I'm going to just simply comment out uh, those uh, those five lines, okay? Then go back inside here, refresh and do the exact same thing this time we see that our version is different and of course now doing s or s equals equals a 
this time we get false. So there you go. Uh, that is how to create singletons in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.